Hey it. guys, welcome back to the Fish Bowl. It's your boy Miguel. And this is Brenda. What are we talking about today, Brenda? No, I'm asking you it. today. Oh. Plot <laughs> twist. Dun, dun. I feel like I do mostly talk most episodes, so it's, it's nice if you talk more. <laughs> well, you talk a lot. <laughs> I do. I have a lot to say. You do. <laughs> no, it's because you express your thoughts. Every I, one of them. I feel... <laughs> <laughs> Unasked. Like, no. Nah, I feel that, though, because I feel like I give my input. Yeah. I don't care if nobody asks. That's my life. <laughs> it's my input. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> I don't care if anybody thinks what I think. I'm just saying it. But, like, I do talk a lot. But I feel like I'm those people because, like, I think everybody knows those people that they feel awkward when there's a lot of silence or, like, a lot of, like, time in between. No, so I feel definitely. like I, like I'll reveal my deepest secrets if there, I have nothing else to say at this point. <laughs> <laughs> act it like you don't know how to act yeah like one time on march 27th in a really depressive state <laughs> no like i we could just be quiet and like enjoy in silence but it makes me anxious no does and it make you so, anxious it does and it's so easy to start a conversation yeah. like hey how's your day going yeah i just don't want it to be awkward and like i feel like i talk so much that i'm like other people are not talking and i'm like mm, like mm. also like i think i have a problem because i feel like i always have to be the entertainer out of every like everybody no, but and tell everything. me why our family is like that yeah we're that like, one day we were dancing in the garage everybody was just looking at us and it was just our family do you, do you think it's trauma or do you think it's like a psychological issue i think it's a psychological me too issue. i think, I, I think so not too. in a bad way i mean shoot we're doing but, this <laughs> but i feel like we have such an entertaining personality all of us so it's kind of hard to not be, like, it's not like we want to be the center of attention, but somehow we always end up being the yeah. center of attention. Not on purpose, but I feel like we're naturally. We're just that people. We're, like, we're those people. We're just entertaining people. We don't mean to sound cocky. <laughs> no, but we are. In a humble way. In the most humbling way, we are the entertainers. Not, I feel like it's a train. No, and we've we, always thought this, even from when we were little. Yeah. Because. It's always been like that. We've always had to, yeah, not but, had to, but, but we've always been the center. People do need their entertainers too, because imagine how boring it would be if nobody had an entertainer. Yeah, like for one of those, uh, one of those ladies invited my mom to a party, but she said, "Bring your family," <laughs> because we're just <laughs> literally we have fun. We like when we dance and there's like a baile or like a fiesta or something. Everybody just looks at us. We're, we're the fun we're the one we're the center the of entertainment but you know why we have fun because we don't care if anybody no, yeah, else is having we're fun, having fun. <laughs> we're having fun yeah. like we're having a fun time no matter if nobody's having fun and then people eventually do because i mean you want to feel fun you want to have fun so like it's like an excuse to be like dancing with yeah. us and stuff like that but like but no you even remember that day on el piquetón mm. it was our family yeah it was just that's our family, it dude. it was just i mean it was a friday night though I'm thinking it was more No, but saying stuff. the fact that like, as long as we have fun. Because that day I had a blast. Yeah, I don't I know about you, but I had a blast. Had... And there was nobody else. It was our family. And we closed the clubs every single time. They have, they have to kick us out. No, and then, literally. And, and then we're morning, like, another one, another one. And then we're like, another one. Play another one, please. Like, we think that the DJ's going to be like, oh, yeah, let me play in I my know. free time. In his mind, he's like, get these drunk people out of here. <laughs> the thing is, like, we're not blacked out drunk. We're just, like, having so much fun. We don't want to end. Yeah. But that's our issue. We never want it to end. Dang. Because we're deep. having such a good time. That's, that's addictive personality th to that's, me. That's, Talk that's about psychological I'm, issues. That's what I'm saying. I feel like me personally, I know you too. Like we have really obsessive personalities. I do. So like me, like I told you this, like if I like a sandwich from like, let's say, I don't know, Starbucks, right? I'll eat that sandwich until I get sick. Yeah. So there's no way that can be good because like you get so obsessed and fixated with one thing i mean it could be like anxiety or something or like mm -hmm. even just like i don't know it has to be it has to be something mental because i get so obsessed with this thing that i'll have it until i feel sick like mm -hmm. and then i'll never eat it again i can say that and this is something i thought but like is just popping into my mind right now I'm like that with music too. Yeah, yeah. Because I like my music and I like variety and I like having all these things. But if I really like a song, I can listen to that song on repeat, repeat, yeah, repeat, yeah, on and on, and then I'll get sick of it. Yeah, and then I never want yeah. to listen to whatever. That's what I'm again. saying. It could be anything. Like right now, I was just giving the sandwich example, but it could be like a coffee. Let's say like a flavor on coffee. I'll have it until I feel sick. Like that's what happened with pumpkin spice latte for me. Like I had pumpkin uh, every. You know me and Laddie were into like pumpkin everything. Yeah, you so guys I'll thought you were white girls. 
No, it's yeah. just good. Like yeah. it just. You guys should be good. drinking like a champurrado. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, imagine the selfie would go crazy with the, <laughs> with the sweet bread. Yeah. <laughs> no, but only because it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it is. A concha? Yeah. A concha is so aesthetically Dip pleasing. In, uh, hot chocolate. Have you ever had a fresh concha? Life changing. <laughs> You're nasty. Oh, that's no, disgusting. a fresh Mexican bread. <laughs> Have you ever had a fresh Mexican bread? <laughs> People that only speak English are not gonna get what they can't. <laughs> you know, should put it you down. know the, the, you know how you listen to like the stupid TikTok jokes, <laughs> yeah. the one with the panada. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, like no, I do like conchas. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do like them. <laughs> but I haven't had it fresh. <laughs> it's life changing. I don't want to know. What's <laughs> good? No, dumb. wait, no. You're I, so dumb. <laughs> no, I could imagine. I've never really tasted. When do you taste a fresh one? No, one time. We, no, no, one time. Multiple occasions. Mm. We've gone to the Mexican store, got some bread. It's fresh? It's fresh, like steamy. Like you put it in the bag, it's steamy. What? Yeah. I've never had that before. I, I've had it like the regular way where it's like, like a little bit hard. And like, it's still good. Because I feel like a lot of people mm. that try it, that like, like non, non-Mexican, non-Mexicans had it. They think it's so dry because it is, but it's because it's supposed to be like its meaning is to be dipped into coffee or hot chocolate That's and nice. it's supposed to soak up because imagine if you put already like a really like moist uh like bread into like already a liquid it's not enjoyable anymore anyway. you know what i hate what with a passion what the milk because all the concha crumbs already fell oh, in Oh, yeah, no. Or, I, like, the coffee. I don't like having, like, cups of milk either. Like, I, I don't think I've ever had. No, I did put it in milk when I don't want to make a coffee. I'd rather not eat it. Really? Yeah, because... Yeah, I have to put it in milk. I don't give a care. I don't know. Milk is just such a... It's been a big, okay, like... Okay, so I work at a seafood restaurant, right? Hmm. Seafood, like lobsters, Oh, I know shrimp, what you're going to say. Crab. I know what you're going to say. And then people will come in asking for milk. Like grown adults with their seafood, with their seafood, yeah. Like they'll get like garlic, shrimp, or something like that with milk. Oh, that's gross. I but mean, it's this same, gross to you, but maybe it's that's not their you. culture too. Like, I'm not trying to sound funny, because I feel like a lot of people know that that's. I mean, especially like old back then America. I feel like that was like it was their, milk. even at school you of, get milk. Yeah, you get milk, chocolate milk for your lunch, which Ooh, I still don't find dang. it weird. I was so fat when I was in high school. I would steal like four of them. <laughs> I I would barely drink, but I'll drink the the juice and then like half of the chocolate. But the like, oranges would go crazy. Yeah, and but I feel like it's such a like typical. At least I know from back in the day, option as like a drink for your for your dinner. So I think some people are still stuck in that, or maybe they carry on to your, their kids. I mean, I know my kids like milk, but I don't think they necessarily would have, like, a shrimp pasta with milk. milk no. no. Or, like, when they go out to eat, or when you guys go out to eat. Yeah. When they themselves go when, out to eat. <laughs> when they go out to eat, they're six and eight. <laughs> when you guys go out to eat, uh, they don't get milk. Like, that's not yeah, the first they choice. Don't, they don't, unless it's breakfast. Not even in breakfast. Like, they, <laughs> they get, get a juice. Coffee. They get a coffee. <laughs> coffee and milk. <laughs> yeah, but then, I don't know. Like, milk is just not... I've always never really liked it, but then since I became an adult and like ever since I was buying my own groceries, I, you know, I've only had like almond milk, unless I'm making like Mexican hot chocolate or something that requires like milk, and I won't even do whole milk. I'll do like one percent, <laughs> like point five percent milk, then I'll do it. But it's just like thinking about everything behind it, because like yeah. I've watched so many like documentaries about like how oh, like they. The puss the, and yeah, so they're saying that like in ho especially whole milk, it has like pus and blood and they just put bleach in it to bleach mm. out. Like, the, how good? Oh, I can't. I can't. So I don't know if it's healthy for you or not, but I'm not doing it. And like my kids, like they don't drink the 1% milk. They don't, they're don't. they not even really big fans of milk either. Yeah. And you know, have you seen the thing about uh, fake chicken? Mm. Like chemically, produ chemically produced chicken. No. So they're starting to do that now. Oh. Yeah, they're like lab growing chicken. Yeah. But it's not like an actual chicken animal and they kill it. It's like the breast. They'll so, produce that. So I didn't know about that, but like I know there was like this cell with all like burger joints. Like it could be anywhere. It could be 
McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Burger King, blah, blah, blah. Every, every place that they have burgers, there was like a national hamburger day. So they were selling it for, or yeah, they were selling it the amount that they would when they first released it. So like 23 cents and uh -huh. 19 cents. So it was a sale. And so everybody, people would go. Yeah, people would go. And one thing that stopped me from, because I'm, you know, I'm trying to get a good deal. I'm like, yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy a cheeseburger for 19 cents. But then people were saying the reason why they were selling it that cheap, it was because they were trying out, um, like, scientifically made, what's it, what's like it called? Meat, like, lab, lab made, yeah, lab grown meat to see if people would like That's it or not. Disgusting. So, since I seen that, I was like, hell no, I'm not going no. tomorrow. It is a good deal, but, like, I don't know what's in there. I don't know if it's true or not, but, like, it's not worth my health and my life, so it's I'm not, not doing it. No, but, and then, like, a lot of the things were a lot of the eating problems that I have is because of that. What? The, just thinking of how gross it is because mm -hmm. it's lab growth. Yeah. That's disgusting to yeah, me. Yeah, sometimes I think about it too much. Like, I know for, so my main one is the milk, and then the other one that I can't do anymore is pork pork anything it could be pork chori so it could be pork chops i just can't it tastes too much like pig like i don't mm. know if that makes sense i mean it's not like i've ate like no little, i feel like, it though but like it if smells you were... like where the pigs live yeah if you've been to a farm you know yeah and it, it just it smells like even like sometimes i'm eating chicken and then i realize i'm eating chicken and it tastes too much like chicken like you could taste then the i'll eat my size and my veggies and stuff and i'm like i can't do it yeah. But there, there's like, but there's times that I do really enjoy chicken. Like I'll rather eat chicken than like meat meat because the other day I think I told you about this. I had a piece of steak and I could feel the the muscles and the tendons or whatever those little like the strings. strings. Yeah. Oh my god! I had to spit it out. I couldn't do it anymore. It was like, and it wasn't even like a big chunk of steak. It was just like mixed with other stuff, and I could. I took a bite and then I felt that ligament or whatever that is and I could not do it because it made me think like, damn, this is actual like, like meat, like beef, yeah. you know, and you don't think about that when you're eating it. But then the more you think about it, the more you get grossed out. So I, and yeah, I've been everything in different countries, like where they actually grow their animals and stuff like that. It even looks different. Yeah. Like no, the chicken oh color. I've always said this. Remember, I told, so this last time I went to Mexico, um, Mama Sosa, our grandma, she was boiling chicken and I realized that, so here when you boil chicken, it looks clear almost, right? Yeah. Over there when you boil You're chicken, it looks... You're talking about the water looks, though, right? Yeah, the water, the, yeah. so the broth that's coming out of the chicken, of you yeah. boiling the chicken. It was yellow. And it tastes so much better and it tastes rich. Like, like actual chicken? Yeah, like actual chicken. Like not like here that it tastes like chicken, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't taste like the smell of chicken. Uh -huh. Like over there, it tastes like just meat, like lean meat. And it's flavorful and it's maybe not as big because it's not fake, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is rich. And like, I can see why people over there live for so long because they're eating like organic food, no. you know. But like, just even like that, because they already confirmed the lab grown chicken. Mm -hmm. It just makes me really think about like everything that's going on without us knowing. Yeah. Like, I know even like I was scrolling through TikTok the other day and I ran into this uh, new Mandela effect. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. It caught my attention. because it blow my mind. So, like, for us, Fruit of the Looms, it was, like, an essential. Like, yeah. my undies growing up, yeah. Fruit of the Loom. Or, like, the shirts that you wear underneath. Yeah, it was yeah. just Fruit of the Loom, everything, yeah. right? So, I remember the cornucopia. For those of you who don't know, the cornucopia is, like, the horn-looking thing. Mm -hmm. I'll put a picture right here of yeah. the logo that so, I remember. I remember, like, that, yeah. too. But now, like, they're trying to say that it never had a cornucopia. It was just fruit. It was just the fruits, which to me, it just looks plain. Like, that that's a sorry logo. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it doesn't even look right. Just fruits? Just fruits. Just fruits. That's like, what I'm saying. What? How come so many people remember it how we all remember? Th that's what blows my mind that, like, it's not one one people or, like, two or three or four. It's, like, a mass amount of people yeah. that are remembering it this way. Why? It's something so unimportant. Like, it's, but it's, like... It bothers you because you're like, there's no way you're going to tell me this is wrong. When yeah, I because it's my childhood. Remember. You know? And there were some people that I guess that were taking pictures of their shirts or whatever that did have it on it. I so got it's you not... on that one. No, the company itself, Fruit of the Loom. So there was like, you know how on TikTok, everybody like, like they run into something and then they'll do the research on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was this girl that like, she did her research on it and she actually contacted Fruit of the Loom. They deny it. Like, the company Fruit of the Loom denies it. And all the logos, I'll put the logos that they've had up here. None of them have the cornucopia. 
But how come so many people and, remember that? And there's official documents, which if I find the picture, I'll put it up. But there's official documents of like what's in the logo. Because you know when they do the copyright mm -hmm. stuff, they have to like describe what's on it. Yeah. It says cornucopia. Yeah. And then like why are people, they denying it? Like you said, people are going back to their old shirts and stuff like that. And finding the cornucopia. But the actual fruit of the loom is denying But it. what is so dumb is that it's such a small little detail. Why is it that big of a deal? And it's from, I know from the people like us, like we're like, no, you're not going to tell me I don't remember this when I clearly have proof. But like, no matter what we say and what we think, those people are like, nope, nope. It's like yeah. trying to get through a wall that you can't like knock down because mm -hmm. no matter if there's proof or the copyrighted documents and all that stuff, like they're saying no you know what i mean and there's yeah. nothing you can do about that and then after so many no's you're just gonna accept it that's because like all the... you can say i'm gonna say it a hundred times but like yeah. on the hundred and first you got you're gonna give up or like the thousand yeah and that's what i think people are starting to think now because no matter what we believe and we remember have proof of if they're saying no no is no and it's gonna get to a time or enough time where people are already forgetting or like don't even want to fight the same fight that they're gonna be like okay if they they're saying that it didn't have that then it did it but in our heads we know it did you know yeah. by the time my kids are grown and like let's say this right and they're saying oh it was just fruit then they're gonna be like i mean it was just fruit it's whatever but it's not whatever what if it's deeper than that I know for a fact that it's deeper than that. Yeah, because, because they could change anything. Yeah, even in the school system. Like, I don't know if you remember this, but, like, you went to school in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> here in the United States. <laughs> and we do things. We, <laughs> we speak English things. in America. No, but here in the United States, they teach you about, like, you know how it was discovered and all that stuff. Because they I went that, to school here. Oh, did you? Like, you learned, but you learned that here? Yeah, I did middle school here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I only really did elementary over there. I'm dead. Well, okay, you're then, talking to then me you like know this. Then okay. you know this. But you know how they talk about like discovery yeah. and everything. <laughs> and uh, what's it called? They always say that like they came and like they found this land and they made friends with the people mm. and we had Thanksgiving and like all these things and everything. Yeah. But you know there Who was always true? there yeah. was always that one kid that was like they always say that uh, I don't know George Washington came in and started like everybody. Yeah. But that's facts because you're only getting the one side from the one person. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So maybe that's their truth. That's not what actually happened. Like, in fact, they came and started killing everybody. Yeah, there's and, two sides of every story. Yeah, but yeah. that's what they try to make you believe in school. Mm -hmm. I believe to one point it will be where that actually is the truth. Yeah, because you know why would I mean? they want to say that we're living in America and that's what we're supposed to believe? Yeah. You know, we can't be the bad guys. We no. have to be the good guys. Every time. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So that's what's scary because they could always change something. Let's say uh, right now, 2000, uh, what, what year was 2024. Oh, 2024. <laughs> and you expect me to, you went to school? <laughs> like, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a student right now. <laughs> no, but let's say 2024. They tell us something as stupid as like, I don't know. There was no slaves. That I don't know why people yeah. believe that there were slaves. Why would we have slaves? I don't think guys? that one would slide just no, because th cultures this, and stuff. This, but... this is just a sample, and it's not to offend anybody or anybody's belief or whatever. Let's say somebody said that. Mm -hmm. By the time that my, my kids are adults, like, so we're talking about like 20, 20 years, right? Yeah. They're eventually going to believe what's in the books and what they printed okay, out and yeah. what they're being taught because how are you going to know otherwise? Yeah. So the, they won't believe that. And then by their time, then they could change something else. And that's what people believe what the Mandela effect is that it is not necessarily because I know some people believe that it's like we're in a different universe or like, or you like know, you parallel jump. Yeah, yeah. Like we're that. like we got put in a different universe or we're a different timeline. But what I believe, this is what I believe, and I feel like a lot of people believe that they're just like slowly trying to see how much they can change without us noticing. This and hurts. it could be something as little as like, you know, the the logo, or it could be and it's the, the smallest thing with like them painting like the Discovery of America is a good thing. Yeah, it it could be like the smallest thing, but then out of that they can get away with more, and then just kind of brainwash a mass of people. You know, because yeah. we could believe whatever we want and fight it. But if they tell you something and then they start teaching our future generations of that, that's what they're going to believe. You know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, so it's like 
you can't fight it at this point this is what they have and the books say that yeah, and they're so, gonna go by that because they're the, like imagine how bad it would look if they were just like, oh actually we didn't do that yeah then pe more people do it so no matter what happens they're gonna hold their truth yeah so that's what i'm saying so you could tell them and fight the same fight and yeah. like beat yourself up about it but they're like nope 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 that's not what happened that's not what happened at, at some point you're gonna grow tired of it or they're just gonna be like oh we already won it so as long as we keep denying it didn't happen like you know what i mean so and then what do you fight you can't fight with somebody that is not willing to fight and just like for real because no, no. the one-sided argument yeah it's one-sided argument and that's that crazy because, than what I no <laughs> because that's true because like in the grand scheme of things you're really nothing you know what I mean? Like, you have no, no say in I everything. I don't want to think that. Oh, yeah, yeah. In general, in life, You don't have life, no yeah. say in anything. There has to be a higher I'm power. I'm everything in my life. No, there has to be a higher power. Yeah. There has there's, to, there's no way. If you believe in good, you have to believe in bad. Yeah. And that's what it is. So, like, this is the government. This is people that know. They don't care about you. So, they don't care about you. They, they no, care about you themselves. You know what you're to the government? What? A number on a piece of paper. Yeah. That's all Seriously. you want to them. Yeah. You die and then go. No gone next no. one yeah. yeah and that's what's kind of sad because you know they're i feel like they know so much they're hiding so much from us because if if we knew as much as they know they don't have any power over us they can't install fear in our minds if they don't you know there was like for a while sometime last year there was a talk about like aliens and everybody get excited i got excited yeah. you tag me on it because yeah. i love aliens my and, life goal is to have an alien dog yeah alien like alien where's my alien oh it's oh. over here alien tattoo i i love aliens i i don't want to think they're evil I why have you haven't <laughs> even met one how do you know i just because like i have i'm a i'm a people's person <laughs> oh, Not an alien person. <laughs> no but like i believe in them i don't feel like they're necessarily evil i think they're smarter or i don't know i don't know i i think love it... i love how they look i love i think they're cute it, wait somebody come in no oh. what's it called i think Italian. <laughs> no i think the simple fact that or not the simple no yeah the simple fact that they would have the technology to come visit us yeah they would be smart enough to not like be stupid I you know what i, I mean think... like they would try to like colonize or like experiment with us i don't think they would just come in I mean, guns a blaze and just kill i mean everybody. our people from earth are visiting other planets why wouldn't wouldn't somebody else from another yeah. planet and we have us? to be somewhat behind because imagine like we're way how fucking long, behind how There's long no has way. technology really been around yeah you so know what in, i mean and not only that like i feel like i don't know that's like a whole another conversation but like there's no way that you have to be that close-minded to think that we're the only living things For real. from all the galaxies because it's not just one galaxy it's multiple yeah. galaxies if on this planet i can find a person that looks like you i could probably find like seven on yeah. this planet the people that look like you yeah there's no way in this entire universe that's growing every single second there's not another organism yeah yeah it's so like close-minded to think that there's no i mean it doesn't have to be aliens just any living thing yeah any living thing and well there's already like uh like stuff in like ice on one of the planets yeah and, and then like, like they that. found water and like there's some planets that are actually like i mean i don't think how we currently are living right now but it could be modified so we could live in a different planet you don't think the government is already thinking i mean this is a whole different thing but like you don't think that the government is already thinking about like if something happens to this earth what's the next planet we can yeah, live on they have to yeah so like because they don't have i mean you could have all the money in the world and all the power in the world but at the end of the day if somebody takes us out or us at, like a whole planet like i'm sure they ha they yeah. have figured out some type of way to get out of it like fuck us but like they're they want to survive you know yeah but and the thing, like, technology is moving so fast, too, because, like, your mom, right? <laughs> she, when she was young, they had the big phones. Oh, yeah, the yeah. The big, big yeah, phones, the chunky right? Phone. When she had you. Yeah. I remember seeing one when I was yeah. little. Yeah, and now what do we have? Just I can tap my phone, phone to yours, and then our information already. Yeah, like, that is over. crazy. Just tapping it. Yeah, and if we already, like, were impressed by this little technology, you don't think deep in the government or deep in there they have so much more technology and like they know so much more stuff that people are scared to talk about that's what these people that's why these people are in a higher power because they know way more than us but if yeah. they were to release that to us 
they could not longer like install fear in our minds and like we would be able to reach out for more things this is what we know we're like pretty mm -hmm. much in this earth with a little dome on top and like we can't get out and like everything's scary they can supposedly they can control our weather like they can do so many things with all the information they have but we don't have that yeah. so we're but lower it's stuff that like you uh even the little things like when i was had my accident i had a lot of free time so i did like a lot of learning and stuff like that i learned about all the chemicals that are in food even in your water mm -hmm. like how it makes you sluggish and yeah. like it makes you more susceptible mm -hmm. for when people tell you things and stuff like yeah. that and that's on the small scale. Yeah. Like, on food. Imagine, Stuff that like, they're, like, the, feeding us. Literally putting it in our bodies. Imagine the morals that they have. Making us by eating this stuff. Yeah. And going Do you think that they... They, don't, they obviously like the morals. There's yeah. nothing stopping them from, like, doing things on a major... Messing with us, yeah. Well, speaking about eating something and believing something, I saw this TikTok that said that... You know how when you have when you have a lot of sugar, people are like, "Oh, I'm gonna get hyper. I'm gonna have yeah. a sugar." They're saying that that's not true. It's not like scientifically. Sugar like, makes you the opposite of that. No, they. It doesn't. I mean, it does cause an effect, but it doesn't make you hyper. Like it. That's not what sugar does. Like you know what I mean? It gets yeah. processed into something else in your body. But they're saying that it doesn't. There's no sugar rush. There's no hyperness attached to sugar. It's more about, like, the chemicals and, like, the stuff added into it. But it's not, like, a candy. Like, if you have a lollipop right now, you're not going to get hyper. You know? Like, that, does, your body doesn't translate sugar equals being, like, hyper. Mm -hmm. And then another thing, it was, like, coffee. Coffee, like, coffee, I don't care what people... Coffee could be anything, and I'll still drink it. I, like, because, I, I mean... It just tastes good. <laughs> yeah, it, it tastes good. I mean, childhood vibes, too. <laughs> With the but also... <laughs> Like, they're saying that it doesn't really... I mean, because one thing that I know for a fact, and the, that's what, it doesn't matter what coffee makes me feel, I'm still going to drink it because now I'm, like, obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. Like, the not the addict addictive personality, but it's more, like, out of habit. But they're saying that, like, you know, when you drink coffee, you get energy and you're energized. That is not true. I feel so sluggish when... I, I mean, I know it's horrible for me. I know people are probably mm -hmm. going to say, like, stop drinking coffee, but, like... It makes me, like, I could have a cup of coffee, like a strong one, because I like my coffee strong, and take a nap. I literally could. Oh, yeah, no, that's facts. I so feel the same way. Yeah, so it makes you, way. like, either do get some type of, like, alertness, but then it, it, it really, like, crashes you down, because then I have to take a nap right after. Yeah. So I do believe that as well. That, like, if, if you tell me, like, oh, if you have, like, a glass of orange juice every morning, it's going to give you energy. And after you tell me a while, I'll probably like believe. Like a placebo effect. Yeah, like a, that's uh, what it is. A placebo, uh, pl 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 placebo effect. Like, if you tell me this is going to do this to me. Like, you're like, oh, I've been drinking this grape juice every morning. And I'm working. strong. Yeah, I feel strong when I'm working out. And I'll be like, maybe I'll try it. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. like, if somebody tells you something, and that's kind of like the Mandela effect. If somebody tells you something for so long, what are you going to do but believe it? Because why would they lie to you? That's you know what right. I mean? If there's like proof and you see it in writing. One thing that threw me off because I was watching the Mandela effects is we know where we're going to go. <laughs> we just like these type of things. <laughs> yeah, that. <clears throat> so, you know the, I mean, you would know, the um, Jordan logo, yeah. right? The guy with mm -hmm. the ball. Yeah, don't say nothing uh, dumb because I grew up with that It's logo. not dumb, it's facts. What? So, I remember, I don't know how you remember the logo, but the guy's wearing shorts, right? No. No? no? He's not wearing shorts? No. Okay. The <laughs> I thought they were shorts. No. I could have sworn they were shorts. No, I could bust out like a pair of Jordans right now. I can guarantee you he has no shorts. You knew that it was pants the whole time? Yeah. Why would they play basketball in pants? I don't know. No, they don't play basketball. Like, that was just made. But what's it called? I know that for a fact. What? Yeah. Because when I was I younger, know. I was really into like legit checking shoes and stuff like that. So I know the logos. So if you saw one with shorts, you're like, this is fake. Yeah, this is fake. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mikael Jordan. <laughs> if I would see them, like, no, I would think that the pants are not legit. Because it doesn't make sense in your head. Oh, but then, then this is not going to make sense. Wait, but, then what, but then what about the jersey? Why would it not have a jersey? It would just be just wearing shorts? Yeah. You would see the jersey. Do you remember a jersey on it? No. If I, if somebody told me to picture the logo in my head. No, I, I can't even pictured... imagine it in my head right now because he's the dude like that. Yeah. And then you can see the wrinkles of the pants a little bit. Well, I'm not a shoe person, and, you know, I don't know about that brand as much as you probably do. But, like, I I could have sort Like, if I close my eyes, I can see it with shorts and a jersey. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. And I could picture it in color and everything. But so when I saw the the Mandela effect, and a lot of people agreed, they were like, "Oh, I remember with shorts. I remember with shorts." I not I did not see one single comment saying that they remember pants. So that's what threw me off that you just told me that. No, I remember it like that. What? Okay. Well, the one that threw me off. I don't want to say anything anymore. (laughs) I don't even want to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. (laughs) What was it called? One that I felt like that was when uh, the one with the peace sign. Because oh, yeah, I remember yeah. it being with the thing up. Up, yeah. Yeah, because like, it looked like a happy dude. With the hands. Yeah, and I vividly remember a story of when we used to live in this one apartment, and it was her and my other sister mm-hmm. sitting on their beds. And then she said, or I don't know who said something. I, I remember I said it. because Yeah, and they were yeah. like, oh, the peace sign is like a happy dude. Yeah, with the arms with the arms up, up like saying, which yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense because you know you know peace. what also makes sense because peace sign is like yeah, this. oh, that's facts. Right, because you're like this. Yeah, so it, the peace sign. Yeah, but it's upside down. Like the yeah. thing is backwards. Yeah, that's like anti peace. Because remember when you asked me and then I because I, I typed down peace sign on my emoji thing and then it they all popped up like that, and I was like, yeah, but me, I remember it being down. Yeah. So, but I don't know. I don't but know. But I remember it from like other occasions in like school and stuff like that it being up i don't know but that's why also people believe that we're in different like like we jump like a timeline or like yeah. a, because some people remember one thing some people remember the, there's proof of one thing there's proof of the other i think it happened in 2012 why what happened in 2012 the Mayan calendar it ended. oh that's right because they did say that the world was gonna end but like they don't no, know which i think it was or... the end of that reality maybe or like maybe we did jump into a different one like but maybe. something i know some like well i don't know because you know, i'm not like that mm-hmm. but what's it called but i think that we shifted something i don't know what that something is but we shifted yeah. something because think about it since 2012 things have changed a lot yeah. I mean, it is 2024. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, like 12 years passed yeah, by. Yeah, like 12 years passed by. But, like, a lot of things have changed. A lot of mindsets mm-hmm. have changed. Everybody now is about, like, open mind, mental mm-hmm. health, like, better yourself. Before, it wasn't like that. Yeah, it was You know wasn't. what I mean? And I, don't, I know that's more recent, but it did, you know, it takes time for people to catch on. Yeah. But and I think that was a shift that happened. Because yeah, there now has to be. Cause the, everybody's all about, like, self-improvement and, like... Mental health. Mental health and stuff like that. Yeah, And it's so much true. more open, more yeah. easy to talk about. Especially, I want to say, the past, like, four years. It's been very, like... Yeah, because imagine in 2008, as me, like, a grown man, I'm like, oh, I have a therapist. No, like, this I would guy get is roasted. fucking crazy. I'd get roasted. Now, like, he's going to be a murderer. Yeah, now I tell people I have a therapist, they're like... Oh, good okay. for you. <laughs> Me too. I have my nut seven. <laughs> <laughs> or like when I'm like, oh, I like I'm looking for a new therapist. Yes, queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no. no, but it's like socially acceptable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Back in the day, you would get people roasted. are more woke now. Uh-huh. In every way, like food wise, like mental health wise. What's going on? People like, are starting to realize what's going on around them. The Mandela effect. Because we're woke. We're yeah. woke. We're we're in different. Do universe. you know how the Mandela effect started? No. You actually don't? <laughs> really? No, I know about Mandela, like the person yeah, from yeah, South yeah. Africa. Or where's where's he president from? I don't know. I think he I don't think he was from... president. Yeah, he, he was, was president. He was president. What? Yeah. But he was in jail. I think yeah. Yeah, he was in jail and people remember him dying in jail. Mm-hmm. But then, oh late, yeah, I remember like, here something. Late about years later, then they were like, oh, doesn't Mandela He's die? Still, uh, yeah. I thought he was... Yeah, he was Yeah, dead. I thought he but died. Like, yeah, yeah, that's how it started. That's yeah, true. that's how it started. And then people started calling it the Mandela Effect. Yeah, so if so many people... That's what I understand. If so many people agree on one thing and they remember one thing. Or even if they remember different things. Like, you can remember the peace sign up and I can remember the peace sign down. Like, doesn't mean that one of us is wrong. It could be true. We're, we were just in different timelines. Like, I mean, I could tell for sure at that moment. And you know, it goes back to the same message that we've had on this channel. <laughs> you can do anything. You can assign you can any intention anything. to anything. Yeah. Maybe That's my, what it means. My peace sign is up, upside down. Yeah. Yeah, it brings peace to me. Yeah, if you think that's what's a peace sign, then yeah. good for you. That's your, your peace, peace sign. sign is like the regular yeah, way. It brings peace so. to you. I don't know anymore, honestly. Now <laughs> I'm down sideways. With <laughs> sideways. I don't know. But another one that threw me off, and don't tell me. Even if you don't believe it, just shut up and let me finish. <laughs> because I put a lot of thought in, and it blows my mind. So I hate it when like I, 
Oh my god, one thing, one of my bad peeves is when I'm telling you like a really exciting story and then somebody's not excited for me. But oh, <laughs> like, why are you not excited? As me? I know. And then, but like, if somebody tells me exciting news, I'm feeding off their emotions. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like yes. no, no way you did that. Like, I could not be into whatever you're talking, but I'll be happy for you. Yeah, so I get excited. Thing. So I'm like, yes. And then, because <laughs> we're a part of the conversation. Yeah. Like... And then I hate it. Like, after I finish my exciting news, they're like, Okay, and I'm like, but do you understand what I'm telling you? Like, <laughs> why are you not feeling what I'm feeling? <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to tell you the next one. If you okay. don't believe it, just pretend. <laughs> okay. Just smiling, man. <laughs> so, Abraham Lincoln. Yes. How do you remember him? <laughs> no, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. On the penny. Okay, but a physical wise, what did he what? have that represented? It was him. He had a, I think he had a big forehead. He had a pretty receding hairline. And he was wearing the top hat. Yeah. With a beard. He never had a top hat. Ever. Ever. Because <laughs> when I think Abraham Lincoln, I think beard. He had a really big beard in a top hat. And even if you look at cartoons, shows, comedies, he's always wearing a top hat. And I'll, I'll even put a picture here of costumes. When you look up Abraham they Lincoln costumes, they'd have a top hat. I have a conspiracy on top of that conspiracy. What? I think people are... are when they do costumes and they show Abraham Lincoln, I think when he got shot, he was wearing a top hat. I don't think he was wearing a top hat. When he died, I think he was. When he got shot? When, I don't know about that, but when and I... And I think that's why they assigned the when top When you look up his name, when you put Abraham Lincoln pictures, you're not going to see any picture with a top hat. Really? But costumes What about and all people, the penny? And the penny, he's not wearing a top hat. Really? Yeah. I thought he was. No. So... Wait, is that even him on the penny? He, that is him on the penny. <laughs> I don't even know what's real anymore. <laughs> but he, he was never wearing a top hat, but in all these shows, movies, comedies, he's wearing a top hat. Wait, so, no. I remember on Spongebob, they had an episode with the coin, and the fish was made to be like Abraham Lincoln. He had a top hat. He Okay, that's what I'm saying. In cartoons, in our real life. No, nah, that's my he, truth. <laughs> Spongebob is your truth. <laughs> but... He has a top hat, but in reality, he never had a top hat. And then you have to scroll really deep into his pictures because it took me a while. I was scrolling and scrolling because I was like, there's no way because I keep seeing costumes and stuff like on the images that had his hat. There was one picture of him with a top hat, but he wasn't known to wear a top hat. He wasn't known. And one thing that I remember too, I remember that he had a mole, but maybe I'm just reaching at this point. But I remember he had a mole. Yeah, I remember he had a mole. He Like in all the cartoons that I remember, he had a mole. His beard and his hat, and that's how they would like represent Abraham Lincoln. Like you know what I mean? Even if somebody was making a, making a comedy behind it, but even if you look up costumes, it has a top hat. Why does it have a top hat? Wait, now I was thinking some thoughts. Uh, in the memorial that they have in Washington D.C. with the uh, with Abraham Lincoln chilling, he's not wearing a top hat. He's not. Yeah. Because he was not known for a top hat. I don't know who that decided, or maybe he did, and like. Mandela effect and then like but they're switching it up on us for what reason I don't know what top hat like what does that have to do with any of your of your future like it's not gonna yeah. affect anything so greatly that I mean everybody would be wearing top hats right now like you know what I mean yeah. like so I mean they're not that cool that, I mean I'm, they're really tall <laughs> like you you would be happy if you had a top hat I feel yeah it's I like mean... it gives you more height more power Dang. people have to look up at you hey all the short people would have them. <laughs> super long dude. it reminds me of that no, well, that's the, my letter. no the fairy godparents the mayor he had a really big hat oh he did <laughs> yeah so it represents power i'm guessing the one from uh uh nightmare before christmas the oh, yeah. mayor that he switches faces he, well. it is like skinny yeah, and tall yeah so i don't know who do you remember Abraham Lincoln with top hat? Because I know I do. I know I, I do. I, now thinking about it, I could see him not wearing a top hat. Yeah, but you remember. Before I, remember I told you anything. You rem hat, yeah. yeah, that's one of his main, like, things or how it would represent him. Because even in cartoons, like you said, Spongebob or whatever. I'm sorry, am I boring you? No. <laughs> you know, a yawn doesn't mean you're necessarily sleepy. It just means your body's low on oxygen. That's sad. Yeah. That's so really bad. I just needed a little bit more oxygen. <laughs> I wanted to live. My yeah. bad. So that one threw me off a lot because that's how I imagine it. And like I said, even if you look costumes, it has a top hat on. It has a beard and a top hat. Yeah. And I remember it had he had a mold as well. But I like, remember the mold. Yeah, the mold. Like a big mold on his cheek, big beard and hat. That's what I remember. But now, I mean, I'm, not a lot of people are talking about the mold. So I was like, 
like I said, I'm I'm like a sheep as well. Like the other people, I'm like, okay, so I may be wrong, yeah. but the top hat, there's no way you can tell me he didn't have a top hat because there's so many cartoons and everything. Why a top hat? Yeah. It's not even that important. Okay, I know everything that happened with like slavery and all that stuff during the Lincoln era or whatever. Chill dude. Yeah, like, he does seem like a chill guy. He seems like a... I'd have a, a conversation with him. A, like a people person. Yeah. Like, I, I want to wear his top hat. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> like, did you have a top hat? I want to sit next to him, maybe not in the theater, because yeah. I don't want to get shot. <laughs> but, uh. but I'd chill with him. I'd have a conversation with him. Yeah. I feel like out of all the presidents... He looks humble. Like, he could be It's because when you think United States, like, you think yeah. current president and then Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Without a top hat. Yeah. It's just like he's missing something on his head. Like, he needs to have something on his head. Yeah. You know? Maybe that's why. They just yeah. needed to fill... What? What about... I he wonder, was involved. Like, I wonder, like, on the picture that they put, like, in the White House, if he was wearing a top he hat. He probably doesn't have a top hat. His stature doesn't have a top hat. That's facts. That's what I'm saying. So, like, why do we all think he has a top hat? Another thing that, like, blew my mind... Okay, you know the song by Queen that we are the champions, my yeah. friend. How does that end? How does the song? The champions of the world. But okay. That's of Chicken Little. Okay. It never says of the world. It's it just, ends, just ends. Okay, we're going to try to clip a video or at least the lyrics. It just ends. We are the champions. And then music. So dun, 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 but it doesn't say of the world. And I know because Chicken Little, like you said, yeah. I remember he sang it out loud. And then also there's other movies that people were tagging or like posting about that. It also ends like that. We are the champs of the world. Like I thought everybody knew that. Yeah. And people were going back and listening to the lyrics or like looking up the lyrics or like finding the video of it. Like, you know, like on YouTube or yeah. whatever. And yeah, it ends on We Are The Champions. Well, I can't really put an opinion on that one because literally the only thing I do about queen before that is chicken little so yeah. i don't, like <laughs> that's so bad yeah um sorry but i'm but not it, educated but it, that, that is such a like i've never heard the full song i've never but like, you remember like the like the some of the lyrics some I mean, of the, the lyrics yeah and i i thought it ended if chip is of the world because that's what world. makes sense yeah. and if you say like if the song actually ends like that that sounds like it needs a little bit of seasoning you know what yeah. i mean it needs a little bit we of, are the champions of that's the what? the, the lab grown chicken is the song of the <laughs> like it needs more yeah <laughs> it needs more flavor no it like it does sound weird to just end the sentence like that like we are the champions and then like yeah, it yeah. ends and then like there's like music and then that's it so everybody that like, doesn't make me oh, feel like a champion blah, blah, blah. like yeah like you need to finish the those lyrics and a lot of people were saying like no like in because that's like a typical song that they would put in movies and stuff especially like sports stuff chicken little and when they sing it out loud they say that yeah mm -hmm. they, they say that they say that that doesn't seem right it doesn't seem right to not end yeah. of the world right? it doesn't seem right with me yeah and i feel like everybody that sings it out loud because sometimes they sing it to the kid well not to the kid i'm not saying you sing it to the kid. You sit them down and you perform in front of them. To hype them up sometimes, or you know, I randomly sing sometimes. So when I'll sing it, I'll sing of the world, and now they start singing it like that. You know what's a psychological problem that we have? To send out your kids to perform. Yeah, no, singing. we're always singing. Why is it a psychological problem? Because we're always singing out loud. Okay. Like we're just happy. No, about but like, okay, I understand people do that when they're cleaning or whatever. But we're we singing get into all it? day. All day. Mm -hmm. You put a song in your car, you're singing it. You hate the song because you hate listening to it, but you'll sing it. Or like when we, so last time. Or there will be no music playing and you're just singing. Yeah. Literally all day we spend singing. Why? I don't know. But you notice that. Yeah. Or, I mean, do you, you guys that? do that? Do you guys sing out loud just because, like, not just yeah, out, like, like We sing in front of our family. Like, I'll sing with my, like I said, I sing to the kids. Like, I'm just singing out loud while I'm cooking. There's no music in the, I'm. I'm imagining yeah. the song in my head. Or like, I'll start singing a song, say a couple words, and you'll finish it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That trips me out a lot. Yeah. I know that happens to a lot of people. That has to be like a sibling bond. Because mm -hmm. like, I know it happens to a lot of siblings where like, I could be thinking of a song, and then like, I'm thinking of a song, and you sing it out loud. I'm like, I, or you remember when you when I come in, I'm like, I was just playing the song, and you started playing it. And yeah. I was like, it. I don't know. Maybe it's like a, what's it called? Like a... No, but like observing other people and other people's families and stuff like mm. that nobody just i understand people sing and like that's not my point but we sing like all day you know <laughs> yeah 
Why? <laughs> no. That goes back to the entertaining thing. No, but Why then do my mom also clown? does the same thing. I think yeah. the... But is it be... did it? My mom says that when she was little, she remembers. I don't remember oh, now. Oh, that is probably not. It. It's probably not. So, and then my mom starts doing it because that's she, what she knows. And then she we did it to us it. because that's what we know. Well, and then now my kids are probably going to do it. because, But it's like random songs. Damn, my kid is going to be so cool. My kids are just weird like me, I feel. Yeah, <laughs> my kid is going to be the coolest kid ever. That's what that you think. You never know. No, I know that for a Because they're born with different personalities. So, you never no, know. No, I'm not saying he has to be like cool. But he's just going to be, I know whatever he does. He's going to be the best at it because I'm going to support yeah. him all the way. Yeah, same. That's what I do. I know if kids. he's like, Dad, I want to try water polo. Yeah. Let's you up tomorrow. Then you're going to be the best one. Yeah. Spelling bee with a poster. Yes. Yeah. Like, you know what but I mean? that's like, I want to give him the opportunities that we didn't have, like, you know, try different things. Like, that's try what different I do. Clubs. You know, that's what I'm currently doing with the kids. Like, everything that I can, like, volunteer and do and be participant and like be there for them, I'll do it. Yeah. I don't care how cheesy it is. And they probably, they will get embarrassed at some point. I don't care. I'm going to be there, even when they don't want me yeah. to be there. I know, like, if I'm not anything in this life, I know for sure I'm going to be a good dad. And mm -hmm. that's good enough for me. But I don't know. That makes me feel like we have a lot of trouble. We do. Because we, do. It's cause we didn't have a dad. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> no, I now, don't. Keep it real. Like, it heals your inner Your dad's child. dead. <laughs> okay. You, but, like, you're so. It affects you like that. But, like, I don't feel like for me it affects me like crazy like that. Like, yeah, yeah I want to give him, but I want to be a yeah. dad because I didn't have a dad. Yeah. But I don't think, like, I have, like, a ne like negative connotation to my dad being dead. You know what But I mean? this is a recent thing because I was seeing um, a video about this that parents, um, so millennials, I'm a millennial. So from there on, they're really taking importance in bettering their families and raising their kids with values and stuff that they didn't get brought up with and then also not gentle parenting because i don't believe completely in gentle parenting no. but and i also don't believe in beating your kids yeah but, but more in like being more open and communicate and like and it goes back to like how everybody's more woke to like mental health and like you don't want to traumatize your kids with the same things that you were traumatized with. And, like, you also want to be able to communicate with your kids and have them feel comfortable enough to come up to you. And, like, that, that's what I'm talking about. Like, so people are being more woke to that type of things. Like, mm. you know, like, um, mental health. <laughs> no, but, like, one of the things also that, like, I feel like I grew up, like, I feel like it started, like, maybe, like, when I turned 20, mm. that I started, like, realizing all these things from, like, just observing other people. But, uh, I noticed how, like, when there's something negative, we cut the cycle. You know what I mean? Like, we could easily be the same dad we had. You know what I mean? Mm. We could be not the best people. We could be drunks. We could be aggressive people. We could be all these types of, mm. like, negative things. But we chose to cut that cycle. Yeah. you, Yeah. The, the one thing that is very hard about being a parent is that it's up to you to continue the same cycles and continue the same lifestyle. And it takes a lot to be able to be, like... Because it takes a lot, not in, like, financial-wise and all that stuff, but more mental-wise. Because you kind of have to, like, let go of your trauma and be like, okay, things are changing from here on. Like, I'm stopping this. Like, to put a stop to it, it takes a lot. And I'm telling that because I, I feel like I did a lot. And naturally, like, sometimes when I be yelling at my kids, I'm like, damn, I sound like my mom. Like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it, it naturally happens to you because that's how you were raised up. And I'm not saying my mom is a bad mom or anything. I'm just saying that you want to react that way because that's all you know. To step out of your comfort zone and, like, to step back and be like, okay, whatever happened to me, fuck it whatever i suffer whatever mm. i went through fuck it i'm doing this for my kids so when you do that it takes a lot out of you like me like emotional wise like to kind of step back and be like okay i can't like it has to there has to be a moment where like you stop feeling bad about yourself and then just move on from there and mm. then stop that cycle and then continue branding with your kids how you would would have wanted to be raised how you wanted you to know come what up. bothers me so much about that too they complain about their kids Bro, you raised them. Yeah. Do you you created that? Yeah. If you complain about it, you hate their attitude. And, and you hate that. You raised them. And that's such a scary thing that you're like literally 
raising adults. Like yeah. these are gonna be adults with their beliefs, with how they grew up. You know what I mean? I'm and I'm not saying I'm the perfect mom. I'm sure I'm gonna mess up my kids different ways. Like you know, but like I know in my it heart, is inevitable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm never gonna you, be the good guy. Yeah, but never, because you also have to be that like force to like yeah like i'm authority like i t I still tell them what to do they still have chores and yeah. all that so i'm still the bad guy but in my head i'm trying to traumatize them the least as possible like i'm trying to like i want them to have better memories than not you know and that's all i can do because i know for sure it's taking a lot out of me to like step back and be like okay i'm gonna raise them this way yeah. even if back then you didn't agree to it and you're like oh i'm being too gentle or whatever like they're humans like you know what i mean like they're also little people and they have little feelings they have little thoughts they have little, little thoughts heart. and little feelings and like it, it this is gonna be big feelings big adults big big jobs like big buddy yeah big bodies like you know what i mean <laughs> like the bear <laughs> so it's like you know like now we're being more open into like you know what i mean like treat your kids how you want to be treated and your kids are going to treat you as well because like when my kids have different actions and reactions to things i'm like damn i did a good job like you know what i mean mm -hmm. when they say little comments and i'm like wow like good for you i'm glad you believe that or like mm -hmm. i'm glad like you have so much confidence or like i'm glad that you can sing out loud and not feel embarrassed because i know when i was little i would feel embarrassed to be singing how we're singing now like you yeah. know so it's like it really makes you think like oh i am making a difference like maybe like to them when they're grown and they're gonna like resent me for something but i know from my heart i did what was best yeah. and also like one of those things that i think is cool from like you raising your kids because i don't have kids yet as well i don't mm. but uh like if like tomorrow so or like they know so i dye her hair but like if Kalolo said like mom i want to go get my nails painted like green yeah, and, and, and i've and done like, it oh, okay yeah, because cool. I don't feel like there's any malice behind it. I think it's he's bad. just seeing that I'm getting my nails done. His sister's getting uh, her nails done. So he's like, I want to do it too. But he's not thinking Especially anything Especially nowadays, like Snoop Dogg. Seth yeah, Rogen, yeah and fun. it's funny because when he got them done the first time, he got red and black. And then he, because like, he likes skateboarding and stuff. And like, he's seen it more that yeah, way. Yeah, and then in that area of the world, like that's common yeah you know, like so Cristiano he, went to a sculpture he had his nails painted yeah so many artists Johnny Depp like a lot of people do it nowadays and like they don't find it weird like it's whatever and that's how it should be nothing is weird nothing is labeled like nobody says the nail polish is for girls or a certain color is for this gender for that gender who cares like you know what I mean nothing is labeled do what you want this is your life like live it's it bad. as you please like and live it to the as best. long as you're not bothering me I don't care like do whatever <laughs> you want <laughs> and like I know in in his heart like I know also we went to the zoo and like I bought them shirts and they were like tie-dye and like they had like a cool line on it and then he uh you know so it picked pink because she liked pink at the time and he wanted pink to match his sister and like we never even had a thought behind like oh why does he want pink but the guy was like are you sure you want pink buddy and i'm like he said pink bro he, he wants said to pink match he wants to match. you know and like maybe some people did find it weird i mean but this was like a couple years ago but in my head i'm like he just wants to I mean, if she picked purple, like there's nothing would, wrong with that yeah. there's no like second intention yeah like he's just like out of my like i want to match my sister if she picked green i'm sure he would have picked green like it, it's not the color it's just like what uh. he felt so i'm like yeah like and i don't feel embarrassed he was wearing it like he has long hair i don't care like you know what i mean Ooh, yeah, long hair don't care Keep like going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like i'm like who cares so like in that way i know i'm doing a good job because i know they're so confident and like they are pretty confident yeah kids. they they like what they like and if you tell them otherwise they don't care like you know because yeah. like i made them believe that it is okay which it is okay i do believe that because i feel the same way like there's days that i'll get dressed up like a regular mom and there's days that i'll look like tie-dye like a emo alien teenager socks. boy like you know what i yeah. mean like with tie-dye stuff and alien stuff and like I don't care. I don't think there's rules do you, to life. Do you think you're a teenager boy? Uh, I think my mind got stuck. I think I'm always like 25 in my mind. <laughs> I don't know. I just like, I don't think I've ever had like a style. So I don't think I'm a teenager. But like, if I see a, a, a hoodie with like, let's say an alien, it's like tie-dye. I'm going to get it because I like it. Yeah. But I'm not thinking like, 
oh am i gonna look proper like no it, but then also like if i see like a pair of high heels and i'm like oh i would look super cute in that then i'll buy that like i don't buy anything with intentions of how people are gonna per perceive no me. that's true because like even as a dude i don't have a style i wear yeah. anything like i'll go like vaquero and then like i can wear like shorts and stuff or this i can wear this hoodie yeah i can like put on a button jump shirt yeah anything and, yeah like i don't think there's rules to anything so yeah. i'm like if if i'm not wearing anything offensive i don't care you know and like there's a time and place for everything i mean i'm not gonna be wearing like a hoodie to go out to a nice dinner yeah. but if i wanted to so what like you know but like or, I, like you wouldn't wear your cookies shirt to, yeah like, my cookie yeah. shirt <laughs> to a family event like it doesn't matter like you know what i mean like and I think that's why the kids got that for me. Like, they do think it is okay to, like, express themselves. And I'm not roasting them. Sometimes, every once in a while, I'm like, oh, I'm cringing all in my head because I already went through these stages of awkwardness. But it has to happen for them to have a healthy, like, childhood. Like, they have to have their cringe and awkward moments. But, like, since I already lived it, I'm like, crap. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, I'm like, it's okay. If this is what they like, that's what they like. And I'm going to support it. Like you said, like, I don't care if I don't agree with it. I don't like it. If they're passionate about this, okay. Like, yeah. you know, there's you nothing know, you can do. Like, I feel like my mind changed. My mindset changed a lot. And now I really appreciate the people that follow, like, their passions. Mm -hmm. They express themselves. Like, good for you, bro. Like, yeah. you're not take it what anybody says yeah you're literally doing you you're living your best life like, like good for you they're staying like true to themselves like they yeah. never change for anybody like, or i might think it's cringe i might not like it but you're doing you yeah good for happy. you and i wish you nothing but the best yeah. i'm just not a fan yeah yeah but doesn't you don't have to agree with it like yeah, you know what i mean but like, i agree with the fact that they're chasing their dreams like yeah. good for you I you don't have to agree with best. what they're doing or liking or whatever but you are happy to see them be happy with their accomplishments, even if you don't agree with it. Like, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I totally understand. I that. ran into this dude on TikTok, and he's like an older gentleman. And, like, his TikTok is like, he sets his phone down, he goes back, and he'll put, like, I don't know, like a DJ song or, like, something about, like, you know, like, Sage or, like, Pitbull. Yeah. Like, the old like party songs song, yeah. or, like, stuff like that, right? And he'll just dance. Not even coordinated, nothing. <laughs> but he's Enjoy like, himself. he's talking about following his dreams and like all this stuff. And like, I'm not a fan of the page, but I wish him nothing but the best. Yeah. And I hope like the world for him. And I think you can see through people when like they're truly happy doing what they like. Yeah, because like you see the smile he has. You yeah. see the like passion he puts behind it. Oh, like, that is, that's so inspiring to me. Like nothing makes me more inspired. And like I said this throughout my years. I've said it to my mom. I said it to her sister. Like I've said it to my husband. Like nothing makes me more hype than seeing people being passionate about what they do. It the mustard truck driving. It could be the mustard truck driving. I feel like we talk about mustard truck driving in every single episode. The mustard truck driving. Like um, it could be this lady that gave me a facial the other day that she told me how she came about and how passionate she is. That will hype me up. I'm not into, like, yeah. let's say, facial, like, doing, and I'm not into monster truck driving. I mean, it, it could be if I had a monster truck, somebody was to donate a monster truck to me. <laughs> Nobody has answered. <laughs> but seeing somebody so passionate about what they do, it only hypes me up to be passionate yeah, about it, what I like doing, you yeah, know? Yeah, it is not, like, a jealousy thing. Like, oh, no. why, why do they have that? And I know. Mm. It's literally, cannot like, relate. I'm, not I'm like so happy you have your thing. I cannot wait to, to have get my mine. thing. Yeah, because yeah. you see them so happy and, like, content and, like, fulfilled. Like, I don't want that feeling. Yeah, that you're, like, I want that. I'm going to chase that. And, like, that's one thing that gets me going every day. Like, when I find myself passionate about something, that's, like, what drives me. Like, you know what I mean? To yeah. wake up and, like, be passionate about something. And, like, seeing these people, like, being so happy. It could be that guy dancing for TikTok. And, like, he's happy about doing it. It's just seeing their happiness and fulfillment that I'm, like, I want to have that. Not in, like, a jealous way. Like you said, like, I'm not, like, oh, why are they happy? But you want to have that feeling. But I'm, like, I want to feel what he's feeling. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. In, like, a happy way. Like, it's so fun to see people reach their dreams. And, like, people that... I mean, that guy, nobody could be watching him, but he's doing it. He's happy about it. Who cares? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's he's enjoying himself. And, like, th that's what, like, drives me. Like, seeing people like that being passionate and doing it and, like, 
like the monster truck driving how they come out and they're so happy i'm like i love that feeling i love that feeling for you (laughs) like you know because i imagine like that's not what i want like i don't want to stand on top of a monster truck in front of people but like i can imagine what he's feeling like getting out of that truck standing on top giving the interviews giving the interviews everybody cheering at them like bro's living his best could you imagine being in the middle of the ring and like you're looking at all these people everybody's like like, and cheering for you and like yeah you say something everybody goes crazy like bro good for you good for you imagine like that high hey good for him some type of high that like you feel being in there you know what I mean? Yeah. Like reaching that point. Yeah. That is so cool. I'm so happy for that. I'm happy for everybody that's living their dream. And if you're Shout not living to... your dream, dream it. Do no, it. Don't dream do it. it. Chase it. Yeah, chase Live it. it. Live it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Live it. Like You have to be the person you want to become. Yeah. Do you understand Try, that? Do you understand that saying or no? That's <laughs> a... <laughs> no, Bigel, I don't understand the words that are coming <laughs> well, out of your mouth. I don't know what you. What yeah. does that mean to you? What was the saying again? <laughs> Say it again. No, I thought you <laughs> say it again. Oh, I know what you said. You you have to be the person you You're so <laughs> dumb. I don't even remember how it goes anymore. I thought you said I thought you say live your life chasing the dream. No. Oh but that's a good <laughs> that's one. Even, <laughs> I guess. Is that what you said? No. You have to be the person you want to become. Yeah. So like What's up? Like if you want actually the same that you said. It's actually the same, yeah. Like if you want to be a bodybuilder, Mm -hmm. the only way to start bodybuilding is to live like a bodybuilder. Yeah, yeah, I agree, and I do understand it. I I understand it the beginning, but then I forgot what you said. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You look confused. (laughs) And nodding my head. (laughs) No, I no, that is true. Because how are you going to become a painter if you're not painting already? Yeah, how are you going to become like? A podcaster if you don't do the podcast. Yeah. We talked about doing this podcast forever, but mm-hmm. we were We're doing pod, it. Now. We weren't chasing our dream until we actually sat down, put the We camera. were doing the pod, but we were not doing the casting. We were pod but not casting. <laughs> no, we're doing both. Yeah. I hope people watch this. I hope people can connect to this. Cause like nah, I know there's at least three people that connect to this. Yeah. In the world. Our mom. Lari. Uh, Lari, her sister. Tapu. And my husband. <laughs> No, I like. I feel like eventually we'll catch on. People that get a revive, they get in. If they don't, don't. But you I still know, appreciate. I don't, I don't support. think. I know that for a fact. Yeah, like we're not everybody's cup of tea, but like I'm sure somebody's gonna watch us and they feel like they can connect and chill with us and just listen to our stupid conversations. But I, I want to make it feel like you guys are sitting with us and just having like, because literally this is how we act in real life. This is how we talk. Yeah. This is the stuff that we talk about. Like we're nothing but being our true self here. So it, it was a little bit scary in the beginning because like I don't know if people will know me to this level where I'm like dumb and suited and stuff like that. But like. This is who I am, and like, whether you like it or not, like, it is what it is. And some people will enjoy, some people won't. But I know for a fact I can say that I'm being truly who I who I truly am yeah. here. Because I feel like even with like my coworkers and my friends and stuff like that, there's always that front. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can't say everything I want to say. I can't joke around the same way. I can't like. Be be myself or speak out your mind like how you truly feel. Yeah, like so, I gotta yeah. watch out for people's feelings and like all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I know right now if I bust out a joke, like or like if you bust out a joke, let's do it the same way, the other way. If you bust out a joke, I know it's not to be like meant to be taken to heart. You yeah, know I mean I know like oh it's like, my sister she's messing around. Yeah, so but not... we're really like we like to roast people. Well, not necessarily roast, but how we get along is really tough. It's like tough love. Yeah, and we can't do that with everybody. Yeah, we can't do that with people because they'll get butt hurt. No, they would get mad. They like, would I get think mad. it would be hands. I think it's funny. Like, I, I like laughing funny. about our trauma. I like laughing about our insecurities. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like... It's because if you're not laughing at your pains and, like, all the bad things... Then it's just going to be pain. <laughs> yeah, that's all. You have to, like, assign a happy connotation to it. Yeah. Because, like, we lived a pretty tough childhood. Mm-hmm. We laugh about it. Yeah. What else are you going to do about it? You cannot change it. Okay. But we did learn. And I'm glad that we can look back and laugh at it now. But we could be those people that get really frustrated. Like, like, oh, I'm going to grow up this way because this is how my childhood was. Or because this happened to me. I'm not like that. I'm just ready to forgive and forget and move on. (laughs) Like, Like, you know. We roast each other about having a dead dad. (laughs) That's not a laughing I feel like a lot of people do laugh at that, though. (laughs) I feel like there's a lot of people that laugh at the, like, one of their parents is dead. 
Yeah, it's not to be dark, but like I know. Yeah, no, but we'll laugh at it. Yeah, we'll laugh at it. There's some people that would get really tight. Like I know some people that like. I wouldn't joke around. Or they would get offended dad. Yeah. Th- that you're laughing at your dead dad. No, that I would be making fun of their dead dad. But oh, I know I if somebody made fun of my dead dad, I'd be like, oh. If somebody makes fun of my dead dad, I'm making fun of your dead yeah. dad. And then we're going to laugh together. Yeah. That's what I expect. Like but what, uh, my other sister, Larissa, yeah. uh, she was saying something with like their rent because they're getting a house or whatever. She was like, oh, uh, we're going to put both our moms. And I was like, why don't you put both your dads? <laughs> They're both dead. <laughs> yeah, but, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, for example, Ian, so Letty's partner, like, he'll laugh. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, also, there is some... Or maybe there's... it's the, re- like, the, like, connection that you have with somebody that also has a dead parent. Yeah. Or, like, also had, a, like, childhood. Or yeah, but then I know, like, for example, my mom sees it, someone is kind of disrespectful. Uh-huh. Like, you know what I I'm mean? I'm sure he would crack at some of the jokes. Yeah, if and he... then... If he's listening to us somewhere, or like how Catholics believe they're like they're chilling yeah. among us, I'm sure he finds some stuff funny because he was like a yeah, pretty well, like w- like what are you gonna do? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when I die, which is not soon, it's gonna be when I'm a hundred years old and I'm gonna be sleeping. You guys can laugh at me dying. Yeah. I give permission like, to put like put lies on my grave. Lies? Like, yeah. No, don't put lies. But be don't like, put lies on oh, my grave. like I don't know if like. You need to say something to your friend. Like, I swear on my brother's grave. Oh, yeah, you can do you that. Know, you can yeah. do that. I won't be bad. Yeah, you can do that. I remember Letty needed an excuse for work back then when I was pregnant. And she would always put it that, like, I had to go to the hospital. <laughs> and she told me. Like, she was being honest about it. And I'm like, I guess if you want. I don't yeah. care. Like, you know, it's I'd not I'd be true. using you as an excuse, too. I'd be saying <laughs> that, like, I was watching the kids or something. Oh, yeah. Like that. I mean, before I used to watch them, so I was, like, a yeah. legit thing. Yeah. But, I like, I just ran it a lot Yeah, it's like, you guys can use it. I don't care. Like, I personally don't care. Like I said, if it's not affecting me, like, in any bad way, I don't care. And I don't care what people think either. Like, if they think, like, oh, well, your sister must be getting really sick. If she's like, okay, so what? I she am. said what she said. I am sick. I chew. <laughs> I chew, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i don't care so i know some people get sensitive about it we joke about it and like i said i feel like i'm being true to myself that's what we're saying some people might find it inappropriate some people like might laugh at it some people might agree with it i don't care this is who we are this is how i am this is how we talk this in how real we life. To live our life <laughs> it sounds like we're like being all like <laughs> no, tough, but like, it's true that's how we choose to live our life we yeah. choose to make fun of the bad things and yeah. laugh about them instead of sitting around and throwing a pity party. Yeah, um, so it, it is what it is. So if you get offended, if you don't like it, you guys don't have to join us. Um, but I feel like we're being true to ourselves. I um, feel like we're being real. This is how we talk in real life. This is how we talk to each other. And it is what it is. It is but what it is. Anyways, let's wrap this shit up. <laughs> because I'm already tired. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey guys, welcome back to the fishbowl. <laughs> no, what are you doing? I'm not starting all over again. Bye. No, oh wait, no, before I leave. Subscribe. Like, subscribe. Please, we only have 12 subscribers right now. <laughs> Help us out. <laughs> We're struggling We're now. struggling. Go to TikTok. Like our videos. If you don't like long videos, if you don't want to watch us all over again, go to TikTok. We put our funniest parts there, our most interesting parts. Like, subscribe, follow. If you like this video, I'll personally handwrite you a note. No! Oh my god, you're always promising shit that is like, <laughs> you're not gonna know. Bye. You're done. <laughs>